Over the years, the insulation industry has changed drastically in what types of materials are used and what those materials can do, but the way an insulation material's effectiveness is measured has remained the same using only R-value. This has caused many to believe that R-value is the only thing that matters when choosing an insulation material for your building or home. Now, as all building codes require a certain R-value, many believe that they either should only worry about meeting the R-value for better insulation. But this is a myth. Meeting code ensures you're getting adequate insulation for your climate zone. However, looking at and comparing materials solely on R-value can lead to misinformed choices as having a similar R-value does not necessarily mean the materials have the same impact on a building's energy performance. The determination of a material's R-value is done in a controlled environment, so factors like air leakage, different temperatures, and humidity can reduce the material's ability to perform to its stated R-value. Spray foam, when properly applied, can eliminate air leakage and reduce the flow of heat and moisture, allowing it to outperform the competition in a variety of applications and climates. So, when choosing an insulation material, you should consider R-value along with air leakage. Air leakage, also called convective heat flow, can negatively affect a building's energy efficiency. Air leakage occurs when outside air enters or conditioned air leaves the building through cracks and openings. This can drastically change the interior temperature of the building, putting increased load on the mechanical heating cooling equipment which leads to an increase in electricity and gas bills. Air leakage can also increase the occurrence of convective looping, particularly in air permeable insulation materials. Convective looping occurs inside of a wall where warm air cycles upward in the cavity, then cools and falls back down the cavity, repeating the process. This can account for nearly a 15% temperature loss in a house. Unlike air permeable insulation materials, spray foam acts as an air barrier without the need for additional services and labor, reducing or even eliminating air leakage while maintaining a more consistent temperature. Fiberglass and other forms of air permeable insulation require extra time, labor, and material to create an air barrier. This increases the cost on the builder and the time it takes to finish the building. High performance building materials, like spray foam insulation, not only meet the required thermal performance for a range of buildings, but also act as an air barrier, decreasing time and labor during construction. Better insulation helps the home builder by decreasing labor and gives benefits to the future homeowner through improved air quality and increased energy savings.